without getting inside his fucking head. Salazar, you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? Tu primera guerra fría. As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. In 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved, his sister Josefina, was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable, so the CIA took out Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. The only one's your father. After Nam. The numbers and all that? I mean, he was one dangerous son of a bitch. <laughs> It's showtime, Mason! What'd you see, Woods? Sand. Sand and more fucking sand. Hudson's contact's on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear. They've been supporting the Mujahideen, same as us. They know if Russia was in Afghanistan, they'd be looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me. I don't like anyone. You might want to get your head down. Take it easy, Sal. Deliver the weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raoul Menendez. We have fresh horses. We'll follow. Oh shit. Let's do it. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jiao? We're on our way to the Mujahideen camp now. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that our presence here must remain 100% deniable. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns of our involvement in Afghanistan. Yo, that ain't gonna happen. Soviets are about to launch an attack on the camp. Major, pick yeah. it up again! Yeah. This way. If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're gonna need all the help you can get. I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Ramon, this is Woods and Mason. My two best men. We need weapons, not soldiers. <sighs> this should be good. Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you have on Menendez. Our base is here. Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an edge. That's a bullshit plan. It 
talking about the Russian army here. They come at you with brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. And we do. We belong on the front line. The Russian assault has begun. Yalla! Yalla! Borobirun! You have faith in your plans, America. I got more than faiths out. Let's rock it. We must hurry! We cannot allow them to enter the valley! Settle up, Mason. history! Yourself up. Blow it, Mason! Carson, the west choke point is secure. Armor ain't getting through this way. Woods, Mason, they're throwing everything they have at us. We've got threats all over the valley. Bruiser reporting rushing tanks moving in from the north. Brute force and strength in numbers? You expected such a fight. Doesn't mean I wanted it! Tanks are right on our doorstep. The Bush can't hold up the attack. Tanks are down, Hudson. 
Hudson! We're seeing enemy Elos approaching from the east. Take them down! We're on it, Hudson. Let's ride! man was one tough son of a bitch. Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko, 
basically carved a hole in his head and he shoved those fucking numbers in there and he survived that. No. <laughs> they just say they didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Mason. This isn't over yet. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? times I saw the tick and I get that look in his eyes and scanning the room <laughs> next thing you know he's talking to the Russian fucking Reznov <laughs> good old tricky Vic Woods maybe I should handle this interrogation if you see the fuck out of my way I can unfinish business with this bastard <laughs> I left you to rot in Vietnam, Sergeant Woods. You should be dead. Nobody told me. Buddy Raman tells me you're doing business with a Nicaraguan named Raul Menendez. What do you do for him? Fuck! You believe in an eye for an eye? Huh? This is a Mujahideen, baby. They'll bury you up to your neck, peel your eyelids back, and leave you to fry in the desert. I'll take you out quick. Tell me about Menendez. I sell him weapons. That doesn't Must sound die. too Soviet of you, brother. The Soviet Union is dying. Where are the weapons going? Cuba. Angola. The third world. Why? Menendez wants to see you will burn. But that's not gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Menendez told me you must suffer. You face piece of shit. <laughs> We help you fight the Russians right on your side! No. No, you are and always will be our true enemy. Without water and shelter, you may last a day. If you are strong,
So, we're in a desert buried the year. And who does your father think rides up on a horse to save us? Tricky Vic. Yeah, see? You're just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. That's tough. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think he would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit? 